mods, assets, solutions. And can have trouble getting them things to work in the game. I'm going to go over just a couple things that uh, may, people may not know, especially if you're new to Beam NG and you maybe you already know about Blender, but you're new to Beam and you're already making things. Well, the first thing to think of is if you install the game, right away there's nowhere for you to put your items that you make in Blender because all these tracks are in a zipped form in the install drive of your Steam library. Well, if you've got the Steam version. Um, so basically all these are zipped. So to be able to put your item on the map, well, let's pick one here. Uh, no, how about how about we pick this one? And you want to make something, then you need to hit F11 when it loads to go into the world editor and, and simply save the level. That'll create a user folder. Um, for the game. So you go right here, save level. Now what that just did is in your user folder. I'll go back uh, show you in the user folder this is the default location you can load the game to find out where your user folder is by manage user folder here you can open up where it's at and explore it tells you right there or you can say you know what I don't like where it's putting it and you can put it wherever you want to put it and if you move it and you don't like where it's moved well you can move it back just be sure if you make things and put it in it and you decide later to move it back to enable it to move it the data with it when you move it so we'll go to where that is that is here once you're there after you save a level you should see levels you should see that level here now personally I put everything in the art folder which you can see it did not make this is just the bare minimum things just to get this level to load well this isn't actually what's all loading basically anything you do while editing this track whether you're importing in something from blender or you're changing the track itself all these changes will be saved in the user folder so if you ever decide you know what I want to go back to the way the game was before I screwed up this level then you just delete that folder and then you can also delete the temp folder here that's also in the user folder because in there they'll store cached versions of meshes uh, say from blender or any other place so in here automation taste track I create a new folder and I just call it art personally when I make things I put everything in its own folder so it's easier to keep up with everything. I'll just call this cube because I'm going to export the cube from Blender. So going back to Blender, we'll start a new project. And this cube here is what I'm sending. Now, I don't need to send the light or the camera. I usually just delete these just because I don't need them. All right, so you make a cube. So you want to just put this cube in Blender. Well, the cube don't have a texture. It's got, yeah, well, it's got a material tech. It's got a texture, but it's just there's nothing assigned to it. Now remember, the textures in Blender, none of this stuff matters here. Blender does its own thing with textures, whereas the game uses its own thing. The game uses a, a main dot materials dot json where this uses its own format whatever basically the game does not convert your texture to work in the game it'd be great if it did but it don't so make your texture name if you're gonna give it a texture name it something you can remember that isn't already being used by something else I'll just call this cube the same thing as I call the object cube if I use a lowercase 
That way I never have to question if I used a lowercase or uppercase. I always know it's always going to be lowercase. Because uh, it matters if it's case sensitive. It matters if you put the wrong thing. Now, I didn't apply any texture map to it. But if you wanted to, that would be here in the base color. You go to image texture, for example, and then you find you an image that you want to put on it. I'll just keep this very simple for this video, and I'll just stick this PNG of this dirt on it. Up here, you can press to see your texture. So, we got two options. We can export this to the game like it is and make the texture in the game, or we can make the texture separately. But if you're new to this, I would say just let the game do it. Uh, so, we'll export this as a DAE in that folder that I just created called cube and I'll call the cube cube uh, I'll leave all this the same but you would pick selection only if you had multiple things you were working on and you only wanted to send just the cube there right now since the texture is attached blender will copy this texture into that folder it will do that. It just won't set up the material file. It will put that over there. That was what confused me about the whole thing. Like, well, it put the texture in there with it when it sent it over. Why doesn't it work in the game? Well, because the game don't know what Blender's got going on in it. Uh, so let's go to the game, load it up, load that level, and I'll show you how to just make a simple texture in the uh, material editor so we'll reload this automation test track now keep in mind if you do make things and you make the material in the game make the material before you attempt to import in the cube or the cube will be red and it'll have no material written on it so here you have window you have your material editor this is what I have here if you don't see yours, that is where you can find it. Window Material Editor. Now in here, I will go up to here, New Material. I always, also, I click on the sky to make sure I don't have something else selected. Because if you got something else selected and you make a new material, you're still not going to see it. Because it will only show you the materials that go with that object. Now, forest items are a little different they use materials too but you can't when you click on them you don't get you don't have to worry about selecting them unless you're actually using the forest tool selector and you're actually selecting it then it'll show you the texture but for the main thing stuff on the track these are meshes that you can that are selectable that's why I click on the sky because that way nothing is selected so then I go up here new material and I called it cube in Blender, that's what I'm going to call it here. Create. Now I'm just going to simply save it. Now I'll go to my asset browser and I'll import into Cube, which we go to automation. Uh, this will only show you the track that you're working in. Now, while you'll see a lot of folders in here that may not be in that user folder, these are being pulled from the install location where the track is in a zipped form. Uh, so here's the folder we created, Art Cube. And there's our cube. We can drag it on to the desktop and you'll see a white cube. Now to put that material on it that we just saw in Blender, we'll go over here to Color Map. And you see we do got the cube selected. And then I'll navigate to the Art folder, to the Cube folder, and then I'll select this and I'll say Open. And there's our texture. That's just the very basics. Now, if you want to collide with the cube, say right now we're going through the cube. To collide with the cube, you can go to Inspector, Collision Type, change this to Visible Mesh Final. Now go to Edit and say Rebuild Collisions. Now you can collide with the cube. Now, alternate, now the only limitation with this, if you do this, you're limited to just one surface type. 
looks like asphalt. But for most people, this is fine. I'm not going to get into ways to do different uh, collision meshes in this video. But uh, there's another thing to point out. I personally turn on anastrophic filtering for my texturing. Uh, I mean, that's like everything I turn this on so that the texture draws more clear farther away. Uh, I'm trying to think, okay, what else could go wrong? Well, let's make something and let's purposely cause a problem so that you can see how, how easy that is to happen. We'll make a cube, or we'll make a, we'll make a ball this time. We made a cube the last time. We'll make a ball. We'll move it up. I like to shade smooth my objects. So I like my balls smooth. <laughs> I don't like them rough. So I smooth them out with the shade smooth. Now I'm going to give it a material here. And I'm going to call this smooth ball. I mean, it don't matter what you name it. Now I'm going to export this to Blender. Same folder as the cube. I'll call this smooth ball. And uh, hit export collider. Now I will import this in. I will right click here and say refresh assets. And that ball's white. Bam can't even make something go wrong when I try to make something wrong but anytime I ain't trying to make something go wrong I'm damn if it don't go wrong that's crazy there I think it's because I didn't actually assign material if you don't actually assign a material it will be white it's only when you make something like this like say make a add a mesh cone It'll make a smooth cone so I like my cone smooth too. <laughs> All right, I'll assign a material. I'll do this differently. I'll call this cone, and I'll assign a material to it. All right. Let's see here. Desktop. Right, let's just stick that fire on it. Now we'll export this to the game. In that same folder call this cone it will copy the material in there but the game's gonna be looking for that material and ain't gonna know what what's what so that's that's the error that I was gonna simulate with the ball but apparently this only happens when you have a material assigned to it which is a very common problem probably 80% of the time when you're making things you will see this beautiful red texture that says no material. Now this thing can have different colors. It can have purple, yellow, but mostly you'll see either orange or red. Uh, when it has a different color, it means it's got a different map assigned that it's not accurately in the correct place. It doesn't know where it's at. So if you hit the tilde key, it'll tell you. Oh, well, that's not, that's a developer error. That ain't something I created. That's not my problem. That's their problem there. I'm looking for the error for my texture, usually. Uh, no material. Unable to find material mapping to cone in unknown. <laughs> they don't know where it's at. I mean, it copied it there, but the game don't know where it is. So here's the last thing I'll show you. You want to correct the problem, right? You don't want this red texture. So we're going to pick the cone. And you don't see any texture there. Uh, what did it make for the... I'm just curious. It's got my interest peaked now. If I make a cone and I don't give it any texture... This is something I've been wondering myself. Or a torus, or whatever we make. It don't make a difference what we make. I also like my torus is smooth. Alright, 
I will call this, I don't know, oh, round hole. But I won't assign a, any map to it. I'm just going to export it like it is. Uh, selection only, because we only want to send the Taurus there. And in that same folder, I don't know how to spell Taurus, I'm just going to call it Ring. I can't spell for crap, and Windows quit spell checking for me for some reason. So, so import in Taurus, and it's red too. So I don't know what the difference was between the ball and the Taurus. Why, that's white, that's red. But that's is basically the error that I was trying to show you with the ball. Only knows why I, s I know I didn't make no texture called smooth ball already, so I don't know how it existed. But basically, all right, now let's get to the point. You want to fix this. You want to put a material on it. You have to first because that texture isn't made you can create it now what did I call it in blender let's make sure cone is called cone so let's make cone create now this is the cone and as you see it's still red it's not showing anything so we stick that dirt image on it you see it still isn't fixing it we have to save save it and while I'm on the topic of save if you see save dirty materials that means these are all the materials that you have fiddled around with but have not yet saved like say I loaded the cube and I did a little work with that and I worked on this and that and whatnot and I never saved any of them well this is your chance to save them all now to get this to work now we have to reload the level it's not going to fix itself dynamically we have to go F11 to escape main menu free roam reload track and you'll see our texture will be correctly on the cone this was the first problem I had making things for the game it's going to crash I told you why I tell you do I know this game I know when I know when it's gonna crash it's like a six cents it's crashed so many times I can, I can just about predict it not that the game crashes a lot now that's not what I'm saying it only is crashing because I'm doing things to it you don't really see much crashing unless you're making things and and if you're not making and if you're not seeing crashes when you're making things well you just simply ain't working hard enough <laughs> that's what I say see now you see our cone is fixed so before you do make something and you spend two days trying to figure out why your texture is not working just know if you get this error it's not going to work till after you reload and you'll see your correction which makes it hard to troubleshoot things when you don't realize these are like the things that the game don't tell you maybe but it should all right lastly the alternate way to make a texture take this main dot material dot json which is basically a blank material you see none of these maps are filled out basically what you see here is basically what you see here just in a text form so what I do prior to making a like that ring for example before I would import this into blender I'll just close the game I'll go into the level small grid no not small grid Automation test track, art, uh, shapes, uh, not shapes, what are you doing? Cube, oh, I stuck all of them in here, that's fine. Let's make a new folder, let's call this, uh, well, what other damn shape is there? 
I don't know. I guess we'll make another bowl. I guess this will be a rough bowl. We'll make a rough bowl. New folder. Rough bowl. Rough bowl. And in that folder, so I know I'm going to make something and put it in there, so I'll just go ahead and copy the material and put it in there. Copy here. And like I already know what I'm going to name it, so I'll go into here and I'll zoom up a little. So you see there's three places you see a texture name. I'm going to put rough ball. I'll copy, paste. You can't ever misspell something if you're copying and pasting, that's for sure. You only got yourself to blame if the first one's spelled wrong. All right, color map. Let's see. What are we going to stick on that? Um, let's look for something quickly. Don't take all day. Just find something. How about this, this beautiful picture? We'll copy it to our clipboard. Then we'll go back to the folder. Here, levels, automation, art, rough ball, paste. So one dot JPEG. That's easy to remember. One dot JPEG. Now this gets processed when the level loads. You can't just throw one of these in the level and it start working. This is like one of the things like the boot up sequence of the level uh, basically gets processed. Now this is kind of like the inverse way of making a texture, but it's the way I prefer to do it because I feel like I'm more in, more in control of what goes where. And I know it's going to work 99% of the time. Uh, the 1% time is when I make a video that it doesn't work. So, back to Blender. Let's make a different object. Let's just let's just say new. I don't know. Uh, general. We'll just restart the thing. I'll delete all this. Make a new uh, new mesh. How about we make a cylinder? Now, how about we make a monkey? We'll make him. He'll be a rough a rough ball. <laughs> monkey all right now i do got to give it the texture name in here uh, to know who knows what's going to it rough ball now i ain't going to sign anything here because i just i filled that out already but i'm just calling the dae so that when the we the dae the exported mesh rather has this coded into it so it knows that's that Export DAE. Uh, let's go back to the new folder. Rough ball. This is actually a monkey, but it don't matter. It's whatever you want to call it. Uh, export. Now there should be no reason why that doesn't work right away. Also, no, you can add to, if you want to put all your things, if you want to put all your items in one folder, you can do that too. Like I have multiple things in here. It's just, you can, you'd can you have to manually edit the main dot materials by adding another texture. You would just add a second texture by, so you wanted that one from the desktop as a template. You just put a bracket, that kind of bracket, and a comma. That says, hey, there's another texture. It'll be at the end of this one. You know you're at the end when you just see two brackets like that. Whoops. That's when you know you're at the end of the last texture. So if you want a new one, you got to put a bracket and a comma that says, hey, there's another one. And just taking that... Uh, Wait a minute. That one I said we would uh, get from the desktop is blank. Say this one. Not including the bracket that's above it. Just where the quotes start. Down to where it ends. I'll copy it to the clipboard. And then, or better yet, this may make it even easier for you. I'll drag it over here. So... This will go here. Yeah. 
and it ends with a bracket bracket. We'll save it. Now since I did put it in that one, then I need to move that mesh out of there. Actually, let me just delete this. I don't mean to confuse you. Try and explain two things at once. So now the monkey should work fine. And we just add it to the other material that's in there. I keep mine separate though. So if I'm making things and I want to move it from level to level, I can just move one thing to the level of level. I'll have to send five or six different things at once. But sometimes I'll put a lot of stuff in there together. Just depends on, I loaded the wrong level, didn't I? Such a habit loading that one. Because they ever hear somebody say, I, I, I go to work, I go that way so many times, my car practically drives itself to work. Well, that's pretty much how I navigate into the, Every time I load beam MG, I'm pretty much in the small grid. Seems like my mind just goes there by itself. Yep. That's that picture wrapped around that bear monkey. Now, having a texture go where you want it to go on an object, that's a whole different video. Which is not hard to do, but I think this one's probably long enough as it is. There is one last thing. If you want to know how to make things where they actually do not use this in-house collision mesh, visible mesh final, and you just want it to be like the normal things are... Um, then there's an additional step you do. Inside a blender, see we have the name of this monkey, which we'll just call it, I don't know, uh, rough ball since that's the name of the texture. Um, we're going to add up here two empty plane axes. Add empty plane axes. These are like folders, you could say. Now uh, this one on, we'll call base zero zero and the other will be uh, start zero one. Now we'll have to put this inside of base zero zero so we'll hold shift, left click, drag and drop, start into base just like that. Just like you move something on your desktop except you're holding shift when you do it. Now we're going to grab rough ball and stick it in start. Now we'll duplicate this by hitting shift D. And then we'll hit escape so that it puts it where it's supposed to go and quit moving it around. The second one we will call C-O-L-M-E-S-H dash one. Now there's more things you can do to make this use LOD management or either very far away uh, when you're very far away, it'll make just a two-dimensional sprite, or a billboard, rather. Uh, I won't get into that, but this is the very basics to have that a collision mesh. So this is how this looks if you open all this up completely. But you don't have to worry about the green thing or the red thing, because they're always going to be in the right place. They're going to be in this thing here, this upside-down triangle. This is how it looks if you were to open everything. So you can think of it like this. You got a folder called scene collection. Then you got a folder inside of it called collection. And then you got another folder called base zero zero. And inside of that folder is another folder called start zero one. And inside of start zero one, you have the mesh. And then you have the collision mesh, which is in this case a duplicate, which we could have if we want it to be simple. We could have just made a mesh cube, for example, and named that C-O-L-M-E-S-H-1 and put it in there instead, and you would collide with just the cube. 
Uh, you would use something like a primitive geometry if you got a mesh with a lot of polygons. You would not want to be interacting with like a hundred thousand polygon mesh as a collision mesh or you'll, or you'll get some terrible frame stutters on your game. So that's why you would simplify, but we don't need to do that with him. He's pretty low poly. Now we'll export this uh, to the game. I'll just overwrite the other one that's already in there. Now this you can't overwrite dynamically with it loading. I said I moved that, didn't I? There we go. Oh, I called it monkey. I'll just call this one rough ball. What the original name was going to be. Now in the game, let me import in the new one. I need to right click and say refresh assets. There we go. Now this one, I don't have to fool with going over here changing the collision mesh in the inspector window. Oh, and just so you know, the inspector window, if not open, can be found here. All right. Edit, rebuild collisions. Now his collision mesh is final. You can always go up here if you want to. To this window and turn on ground model debug and then in this window turn on static and that'll show you the collision mesh if an object actually has a collision mesh like you can see now the different colors represent different uh, surface types like currently it's showing you metal is purple I mean no rumble strips purple asphalt is red and the default surface for all things is asphalt like that you make unless you give it a different type now these items don't have collision meshes because we didn't make them remember we didn't actually make them but if I turn this on I'm not sure if that'll show you it should yeah it does so two ways to do one thing if you do however opt to do the simpler approach where you make your own collision mesh or let this make it rather than in then the way that I showed you here if you rather just keep things simple till you know a little more then just simply be sure to use visible mesh final instead of visible mesh because visible mesh as you can see here tells you using visible mesh is very um, expensive computationally more expensive that unless this was intentional please change back to visible mesh final which is here I think that's it these are that's just the very basic things uh, with importing in from blender I tried to cover the couple things I could think of that would be wrong if they if you did not have any object it is possible that if you have this wrong like say like this where what's not inside of that it's possible that you will not see anything at all when the game loads uh, when you try to import it rather Oh, and I guess a couple other, one other quick thing. Something you can do fairly quickly. So you don't have to keep re-importing in the same thing many, many, many times. You can select the object. You can hit 1 to move, 2 to rotate. And you can hold shift while you move to make duplicates. You can hold multiple things and make duplicates and then quadruplets and then was it octuplets I don't know what you call it and then so on and so on and before you know it you can have you a, a thousand so different objects of the same thing just duplicated and whatnot uh, now if you want these things to actually have physics 
that's a whole different video entirely. These are just standard collision meshes. They do not they do not uh, have physics. The only physics they have is called brick wall. Basically, it's just it'll act as a brick wall. I think that's pretty much it. There's nothing else I can think of. Also, here is your scene tree. It's possible this is not on. Uh, you can see scene tree is here. It is here. I thought I could close the scene tree. I was pretty sure I could. I can move it out of the way. So you got your asset browser. This is where you import in things. Each thing that you select has a little preview. Now the textures, for some reason, after like patch 25 for me, I don't see the textures in here anymore for some reason. I don't know if it's just my system or, or what the deal is, but I've noticed that lately. I think that's it. I can't think about jobs. Well, I could think. I could ramble on for another hour about stuff, but I'll keep this simple. So, hope everyone has a, a fantastic day. And I probably should have said this at the beginning, but I waited till the end. Uh, I guess I'll add it. I'll edit.